Baiklah bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, sebelum kita memulakan sesi pada uh, sesi kita pada malam ini, eloklah kita mulakan dengan umum kita al-Fatihah. Amin amin ya rabbal alamin. Baiklah, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dan alhamdulillah Uh, malam ni kita dapat bersama-sama sekali lagi dalam Tepen Career Talk Series dengan tajuk kita pada malam ni adalah Graphic Design. Jadi saya nak cakap terima kasih kepada um, penonton yang masih setia bersama kami bersiaran langsung di platform Zoom dan juga di Facebook Live Ansara Sarangan Taiping. Saya moderator anda pada hari ini, nama juga Rinor Azmi Sazri, saya dipanggil Azmi, saya daripada batch SPM 2020. Uh, senang cerita saya ni batch Pro Max lah di sidang Pomex yang baru je habis SPM. Uh, jadi um, sebelum kita memulakan sharing kita pada hari ini, uh, saya nak ingatkan kepada sesiapa yang uh, masih belum mengikuti kami, anda boleh mengikuti kami di Facebook Ansara Cawangan Typing. Kalau dekat Instagram dengan Twitter, boleh dekat uh, nama dia at Ansara Typing dan kalau dekat YouTube channel, nama YouTube channel kita adalah Ansara Typing. P -P -E -E -P -E -N. Jadi anda boleh dapatkan info-info perkembangan kini Ansara Typing dekat platform-platform uh, tadi lah. Dan jika anda masih belum mendaftar sebagai seorang ahli Ansara Typing, anda boleh bu bolehlah berbuat demikian di laman web www.myansara.org. Jadi um, sebelum kita mulakan majlis juga, saya juga ingin berterima kasih kepada semua rakan strategi Ansara Typing iaitu unit bimbingan dan konseling MIC Typing. NF Energy Sendirian Berhad, Alka System Malaysia dan DG Capital Holding. Rakan-rakan penonton semua, hari ini uh, saya nak ucapkan ribuan terima kasih dan juga ber, uh, rasa sangat beruntung sebab kita berjaya membawa seorang uh, graphic designer yang merupakan uh, Ansara Typing sendiri, uh, bekas pelajar Ansara Typing sendiri iaitu Miss, Miss Nurul Ashikin Norisau. Apa khabar Miss? Baik. Ah, okay. Beliau merupakan Ansara Teping SPM 2009 dan kini beliau merupakan Lead Graphic Designer di Suka-Suka Bistro Kreatif Sendirian Berhad. Ah, jadi sebelum kita mula ni, kita nak kenal lah dengan Miss sikit kan. Ah, nak tanya lah, waktu Miss dekat Maktab dulu kan, apa lauk favorite Miss dekat Dewan Semera? Saya masak merah. Ha. <laughs> okay. Saya, saya lain. Saya suka daging. Oh daging. Hmm. Eh, dulu kalau kalau ayam masak merah, nanti masa tu saya duduk blok yang um, apa ni blok yang berdepan dengan lelaki punya blok tu. Ah, 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 dah tukar ah. nama dah sekarang. Ah, Duduk blok tu, so nanti dia akan ada seorang kan di atas. Wih hari ni ayam. <laughs> Semua orang akan turun. Betul, betul. Kalau ikan tak ada siapa. Kalau ikan tak ada siapa turun. Betul. Baiklah. Alhamdulillah. Terima kasih Miss kerana sudi meluangkan masa bersama-sama kami pada malam ini. Uh, saya nak ingatkan kepada para penonton, uh, jika ada sebarang pertanyaan, anda boleh taipkan persoalan anda di ruangan chat Zoom ataupun jika di Facebook, anda boleh di uh, anda boleh taip soalan anda di uh, di ruang komen. Soalan-soalan ini akan dijawab di sesi Q&A session uh, di penghujung kita punya sharing malam ini. Um, jadi tanpa menegakkan masa lagi, saya nak serahkan uh, sharing kita ni kepada Miss Ashikin. Uh, bolehlah Miss Ashikin menyampaikan perkongsian beliau tentang grafik desainer tu apa dan banyak lagi. Kita sediakan Miss. Terima kasih. Terima kasih Azmi. Um, Assalamualaikum dan selamat petang. Saya ucapkan kepada siapa yang menonton pada hari pada malam ini. Um, saya ni to be honest tak adalah terlalu power sangat. Bukanlah tak cakap tak power tapi kita saya pun baru berjinak dalam bidang ni. Maksudnya um, terlalu panjang saya punya bukan terlalu panjang. Saya ni ber, ber, ber background kan background yang uh, sebagai architecture. Saya study saya graduate daripada Bachelor of Science Architecture. Lepas SPM buat Bachelor of Science Architecture for years and then practice untuk 3 tahun. Kemudian um, saya jump into graphic designer field. Uh, with the helps of um, company yang saya masuk by that time uh, the supervisor is very like macam orang kata sangat supportive sebab um, you know from architecture to graphic designer the, the, the software and everything totally different but they managed to shape me lah into be, to become a graphic designer um, and then at the same time actually um, currently I'm pursuing my my second degree in law 
to which is I'm, I'm currently in fourth years, fourth year. Um, so yeah, so I nak cakap yang macam um, I'm not just a graphic designer. I'm 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 more to like a person that uh, I love to learn everything. So as for today sharing, mungkin akan ada yang terkurang, mungkin akan ada yang terlebih. Jadinya um, segala yang kurang tu boleh di, 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 diusulkan, boleh di, boleh, di, boleh dikritik dan beritahu seperti saja. Yang mana yang lebih tu pula mungkin boleh dijadikan uh, salah satu motivasi untuk untuk meneruskan kalau kata nak masuk grafik designer juga ke nak masuk architecture. Okay, so um, dalam dunia grafik designer ni kita orang lebih gemar, saya lah tegur orang saya, saya tak tahu orang lain tapi saya kalau tu lebih digemar lebih gemar di kelas sebagai kreatif sebab kita orang ni adalah satu department yang mana um, consider sebagai kreatif lah kita orang kita orang kreatif ni memang betul lah ada banyak benda ada banyak dia kreatif dari segi buat copywriting kreatif dari segi buat um, macam mana nak buat uh, everything tu tapi um, we love to be called as kreatif so normally um, people ask me uh, what you working what what who, Uh, what is basically you punya you punya you kerja sebagai apa what so uh, I, i of course kena jawab graphic designer if i say creative dia orang takkan berapa nak faham sangatlah orang biasa so tapi among among us the graphic designer we always say that we doing some creative thing so we love to be called as creative so as you can see in my uh, slide first slide basically is creative so, yeah everyone is creative and everything creative ni semua orang boleh create semua orang ada dia orang punya own creative so that's why we like to use creatives sebab um, not terlalu kata uh, specific what kind of creative are we right okay so we start with um, what is graphic designer okay uh, okay so um, a graphic designer designer is a professional within the graphic design and graphic arts industry who assembles together images typography or motion graphic to create a piece of design A graphic designer creates the graphic primarily for published printed or electronic media such as brochure, sometimes advertising and also sometimes responsible for typesetting, illustration, user interface, web design which is uh, as to, to, to be short, it's, it's a core responsibility of the designer job is to present information in a way that is most accessible and memorable. So selalunya graphic designer ni, okay this is uh, sourced by Wikipedia, <laughs> not by me. So to be uh, basically this kita kita presentkan benda tu based on uh, apa yang apa yang nak dibawa oleh sesuatu um, produk atau sesuatu company. Jadi kalau ada sebab tu ada orang gelakkan sebagai hipster lah, ada sebab gaya macam funky pop. That is basically what kind of orang nak bawa branding orang. So this is which is include kita akan consider everything. Kita akan consider typography, typography what kind of font that suits. Uh, that this kind of design contoh macam wedding takkan wedding wedding normally we will use like macam very uh, typography yang yang you know curly curly very very romantic one so um, but sometimes there is a certain certain wedding that they want it to be like punk uh, punk rock you know that that that, that tulisan yang macam graffiti and everything it depends on the client itself so so normally uh, we will advise based on the current situation But um, if the client basically have their own intention of oh I nak buat macam ni, I nak buat macam ni, and then we go with the client punya intention lah because they are the one that pay us, right? So, so graphic designer ni basically macam we help to illustrate, we help to demonstrate, we help to basically portray to people uh, and make them remember what it is about. Contoh macam a graphic designer that create logo MRSM. Up till now, we still use the, using the logo MRSM. The moment you see the logo MRSM, you know that is MRSM. No matter where you go, you 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 tengok je MRSM ni logo. Even though there is no word bawah tu pun, you know it's from MRSM. That is what graphic designer do. So it's, it, that one is a very big impact. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay, so um, banyak je universiti yang tawarkan kos ni. Tapi berdasarkan suku, sebab I tak ambil graphic designer secara direct. Tapi I, I keep on asking people daripada diorang di mana diorang belajar. Most of student, most of uh, my colleagues are from either UITM or MMU. So uh, I can say that um, most of them daripada MMU ni actually 
dia orang sebab MMU dia multimedia university kan so dia dia, dia lagi details in terms of uh, multimedia things lah so you can enroll masuk uh, media arts advertising design animation visual effect interface design virtual reality so many so many you can just enroll and see so including sama juga dengan uh, UiTM UiTM ada seni binografi apa semua dia ada diploma ada master ada PhD so in terms of if you ask me in terms of like macam Uh, orang kata minimum requirement um, I rasa Benda tu as long as you struggle For the best during your SPM You can enroll That's it So so I, actually I tak suka nak cakap Pasal minimum requirement It's not because of apa Sebab I rasa macam Everyone should strive for the best And then after that Baru kita And then you tengok Bila you dapat result You dapat hati dengan result you And then baru you 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 PK minimum requirement untuk masuk apa because that's the best that you have, you you dah buat dalam hidup you yeah so so in terms of uh, minimum requirement I think I think as long as you work hard you can enroll lah masuk dalam graphic designer no no problem pun okay okay so this is me um, this picture has been taken uh, has been taken uh, bila eh? 2000 2000 19 yeah about five years ago i graduated from uitm shahala with bachelor of science in architecture working in architecture world for most for almost three years makes me wonder if there is anything more challenging that i can be part of stuck between chair and desk is not something i imagine myself living for the rest of my life so basically i'm a person that very before i kahwin lah before i kahwin i'm a person that um you know yang macam jumpy yang macam tak boleh duduk tak boleh duduk dia yang macam always find something interesting to do So when you start doing, I, I I'm not saying stuck lah. I said that macam, as for me, I feel I'm stuck doing the same routine every single day, and I don't like that. I'm a kind of person that always try to find something new in my life, something challenging. Yeah, macam I mean, bila you bila you belum kahwin and then uh, you keep on doing the same routine. As for me, I think it's boring. Ah, uh, I think. I need to find something else yang boleh I climb up the rail sama ada climb up the ladder ataupun uh, get new things ataupun gain new knowledge ataupun gain new experience and so many things so that's when I decide that macam okay lah um, I would like to be, I would like try to become a graphic designer so to be, sebab um, in architecture world in order for you to become a certified architect ataupun architect before certified is architect you have to have master you need to have master and then that master is require you to do full time by that time me myself uh, i tak ada de- i don't have the leisure to 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 quit my job and then do the full time architecture for two years because i have lots of commitment and everything so i think it's actually quite quite at that time it's actually quite impossible for me to become to pursue my my dreams to become an architect so that's when i think that i need to divert to whatever yang i think related to whatever that i'm doing by that time so i'm by that time i was an assistant architect but i'm not do the, the kind of drawing autocad i do buatlah benda tu tapi that, that one is like macam my, my side job my main job is basically to create illustrate to illustrate the 3d modeling of every single building that we want to build every single proposal design required by client i have to do all the 3d's and everything later i will show you um kerja-kerja yang i pernah buat as a 3d graphic as a 3d visualizer ha, we call it as a 3d visualizer so visualize let's say you want to do a town planning so i will create all the modeling of the town planning and present it to you all those kind of things so that's when i realized that i have quite quality in terms of designing things in terms of macam nak bagi uh, you know to illustrate things to to have like some kind of um perasaan feeling to that particular just a gambar but when you see you have a feeling towards it something macam tu so um i do do MRSM ISPM 2009 i tak bagi tahu tadi ISPM 2009 Uh, and I buat architecture 2010 sampai 2014 After SPM, I directly buat degree for years So I don't go any asasi or diploma or metric I go directly for years I practice 3 tahun And then I buat design ni 2 tahun And currently, I'm in Bachelor Legal Study, UITM uh, In my fourth year Okay
Okay, this is me lah during the MRSM time. Ah uh, itu nak combo satu ah uh, itu masa hari hari sukan. Ah uh, duduk bawah payung jadi tema kita orang vampire masa tu. Nak tu ada darah-darah mata bengkak semua tu. I'm the, I am paling gelap sekali kat tengah tu. Ah uh, that, that that's me lah. <laughs> ni by the time ni masa ni kita orang baru balik daripada Los Angeles of Tambun saja. So this is my home room my classmate that I've been dealing for 2 years. Um Actually quite fun lah by the time. <laughs> okay. Why graphic designer? So as I jump from being an everyday busy boring paper life, working as a graphic designer brings another perspective of life. A tiny hour can bring so many impacts. I think becoming a graphic designer is essential nowadays because of different interpretation ideas and passions. Example, politics, medical, government and information. Okay, so you nampak gambar tu? Gambar tu, kalau nampak daripada atas kan? I panjat terap. To take that, that photo. That, tapi this is my selfie lah. Not the purpose of documentation. Yang the purpose of documentation nanti I tunjuk later. Ada. So um, nak cakap yang I'm a kind of person that macam very, very macam you tau. Macam, macam fun. Bukan fun. Orang kata macam lasak. Hyperactive. Maybe. Um, I'm working my, in my team. I'm the only person yang perempuan. Yang lain semua adalah lelaki. And then, uh, you know, when you work with guy, and then I'm quite actually like tomboy, boyish, sikit a little bit. So, dia orang bully lah I macam, uh, uh, nak pergi pajak truck, ambil gambar daripada atas. Aku dah malas lah, dia orang macam tu. So, I was, I was climbing the truck using the ladder. And then, dia orang suruh ladder tu. So, I'm stuck at the rooftop. Well, basically, okay, this is actually a tour um, while we do the GE14. GE14, so we go from from one daerah, state and everything. So uh, all the politicians will give a talk. So kat bawah tu adalah orang ramai tu tengah tengok uh, one of the politicians tengah bagi talk. While I'm stuck at the top of the rooftop of the truck. So <laughs> it's actually a very fun memory that um, I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to repeat it again because I dah kahwin. But if I belum kahwin, I might do it again. So okay, what is relevant uh, relevant your graphic designer with all the politics, medical, government information? Okay, so this is example. Okay, so kalau dari segi politik, um, I'm sure that uh, kalau kalau yang menonton ni ada yang kurang um, orang kata kurang exposed towards what kind of uh, politics that we are dealing now. Uh, it's not because of korang, it's not because of these people not really focusing on politics. I don't think so. But it's more like the way that the politicians try to 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 uh, to give us a knowledge dari segi cara diorang tu is very, you know, lame. It's not lame lah. It's more like macam, you know, kalau you tengok brochure, brochure tu tak menarik, you tak baca. If brochure tu too much words, you're not going to read it. So you this kind of things that you know, what, what my supervisor was uh, my my chief in in invoke try to we we are not we are totally out of politics kita orang not involving in politics at all what we do is purely on graphic and what my chief at that time was um, doing is to tukarkan the po a very a very boring politics brochure composition of graphic into something yang macam macam the youngsters macam kita ya yang tu oh cai ai youngster lagi kan the youngsters macam kita we look at it and and you know macam macam berminat to know about politics more ah uh, dia tak stuck dia tak stuck like macam uh, oh that's it uh, oh this is poster nampak sangat politik lah tak nak baca tak dia, okay this is what my 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 supervisor wants to do lah my chief want to do so i think it's very by that time it's actually change my perspective of life lah like, macam oh okay so so graphic designer ni it's not just macam buat whatever so macam it more like macam if you want to change something you can use this kind of things so we manage to create some when people see the post the, the, the poster they know it belongs to uh, by that time Rafizi Ramli as a, our boss uh, was Rafizi Ramli punya punya company by that time but but now they are not doing the politics anymore they are doing more to uh, big data analytics but i know by that time it's like the 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 poster itself um giving a memorable visual of what are we trying to do to 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 who it belong so that's the main part lah but that's the main point and everything 
saya, saya betul medical You know kalau you nak baca poster medical You nak tahu pasal COVID-19 Contoh You nak tahu pasal sakit bawah pinggang Contoh sakit jantung and everything So um, with long words You jadi macam you know macam how, how, how should I baca semua Sebab tu masa daripada kita sekolah lalu Cikgu selalu cakap oh buat mind map So that my map is actually a part of the graphic design yang macam help you to remember what you what what you write. Ah, uh, something like macam itulah. Okay, so this is my background. Um, but this is I, I'm not updating the new one. Tapi um, oh nampak macam break sikit kan? Ah, uh, sebenarnya I dapat 9A 1B, tapi I tak tulis lah yang B tu. <laughs> 9A je. Tapi it's just a bragging lah. Tapi because this is, this is supposed to be my resume, so. Okay lah. So, um, okay, my, but basically legal study, MRI from MRI Sen Pasar Salak, then pindah to Taiping, and then study uh, UITM Shah Alam for architecture and then currently for legal studies. Okay, so the, you can see that I work as an assistant architect for two companies, and then I'm working as a graphic designer. Uh, this is actually the fourth company that I'm working with. Uh, the most yang betul-betul develop me is basically uh, from Invoke Malaysia by that time, then their name is Invoke Malaysia. Um, they, they, this company basically help develop my skills and everything. They are very supportive and everything. So they help me to become a very good graphic designer lah. Uh, like, I mean, I'm not like so good, like so good. But but I think as a as a uh, what we call the 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 basics of to become a graphic designer to either grab. I can grab from them lah. Uh, something like because most of because semua daripada mereka is graduating from. Um, MMU, UITM and mostly dalam graphic designer punya 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 field lah and ada seorang daripada photography everything so I'm the only person yang actually yang macam out of nowhere pada arkitek tiba-tiba nak jadi graphic designer siapa budak ni kan diorang tanya <laughs> tapi they are very uh, a good person, good people so they teach me lah they teach me, they, they guide me to become until now that uh, basically I'm, I'm working as a graphic designer okay So this is a part of my job during my time as an assistant architect. You can see this is kind of visualize visual visualization that I have to create by the time. Um, there's a difference between kalau I nak impress client, developer dengan nak submit dekat majlis. So these three type of designs I can I can diberikan different lah. Tapi most of the time because of we 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 banyak we are startup company by the time, um, so most of our job is mostly um, towards to proposal. So bila proposal you nak jual kepada client or developer, uh, so this is what we do lah. The 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 this is actually memang from scratch from kosong 3D modeling. Then I naikkan all the 3D modeling. Then I tanya my boss what kind of feel that you want. So he said that he wants dawn. He said he wants to uh, macam dusk. He said that. I want a very plain one. I want like macam tepi laut and everything. So we grab everything and then we we put it lah to whatever they nak. Uh, so you can see that there's a lots of pattern. But this is this is actually a part of my job lah by that time. Okay, this is a, a job that I've been doing during my working with uh, Invo. Um, Actually macam macam we can see that uh, yang 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 biru atas tu is actually I'm working with a uh, company um, plum company yang macam uh, macam you know they, they cari pair repair and then uh, this is all the client and everything so you can see lah the, kalau kalau you focus on the politics itself the politics itself like macam you know um, I, I, I've been helping as a freelancer also for Singapore punya election campaign by that time So you can see that we this kind of poster actually help you to 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 read more to basically grab and oh this is very nice design oh okay it's donate to clear, to make it more clearer tau apa yang you nak buat with that poster nak nak contribute ke nak bagi tahu you nak buat event ke you nak bagi tahu uh, untuk maklumat ke this, this the poster is very important ataupun you nak bagi tahu macam To, to to give information so you need something yang macam okay the information basically set so how you want to do with colors and everything so that people know that poster is basically make you set that is a part of the graphic designer punya job lah uh, to basically keluarkan those kind of perasaan okay you remember yang gambar tadi yang atas atas bumbung tu this is the photo basically 
So we have to take the photos and everyone, and 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 this is a part of my job by that time. Uh, document document can semua benda yang we go from one place to one place, and then uh, somebody will document it for for us lah. So what we do is basically we have to collect all the gambar, all the places and everything. Hmm. Okay, so this is my team. This is this was my team. Uh, by the time I kerja kat sana, you can see all those is basically men, and I'm the only girl there. Um, these people is basically the one that helped me a lot dalam uh, graphic designer. Sebab as you know that I'm I'm not from a graphic designer punya background, but these people lah basically yang memang um, help me a lot, and they they teach me from scratch until to wherever I am now lah. Hmm. Okay, this is me again. <laughs> okay, so now, now um, again, pass. That one is pass. That one is what was my 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 job during during my three years ago. But why I'm explaining about that job is because that job is my first job in as a graphic designer. So they berbeza. They orang selalu cakap macam the after you study, the your first job is basically the one yang akan tentukan path mana yang you akan pergi next to next. So macam I, my path was um, by that time I I buat I, architecture, I practice architecture tapi who knows by that time is actually I dapat position as 3D graphic, 3D visualizer not as a AutoCAD person ataupun yang buat plan and everything. And then from there, they will shape plan I kepada something else which is I think oh graph maybe maybe I can be in graphic design field by that time I think, and then I enroll, and then there is a group of people by that time which is this company yang macam that help me to become to a graphic designer until I can stand alone now. So I don't have to, I mean like I I I I from zero until that I can stand alone. So that's why I keep on telling people about this kind of people this this people lah because these people that help me a lot. Okay, so sekarang ni um, my, I have a baby, I have one baby, so I dah jadi macam, you know, I'm not going to climb up the truck anymore, I'm not going to, uh, you know, travel from one place to one place, to, to, so more like, I'm a work from, I'm fully, I'm full-time job as a graphic designer, but I'm working from home, time. Um, okay, this is a few uh, social media account that I've been keep on uh, jaga for the graphic and everything. Yeah, so my boss is basically uh, suka 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 creative. Then they manage a few of um, other project. So I'm helping to manage in terms of graphic and everything. So what I want to say is, um, becoming a graphic designer ni dia tak dia dia graphic designer ni dia tak specific like macam a profession it's not like macam if you want to be an engineer you have to be you have to have you need to have set yang nyatakan bahawa you adalah you study engineer to become an architect architect you need to have a set nyatakan bahawa you buat architect uh, to become a lawyer you need to have a set that uh, you are a lawyer you study lawyer dia tak perlu kan graphic designer bukanlah saya kata tak perlu kan jangan ambil benda tu bukan what i want to say is basically it's very broad it's very wide so um Tak ada masalah pun, let's say you want to enroll for a graphic designer, you can enroll to graphic designer. Or maybe you say that, oh, um, uh, I want to do uh, something else first and I want to do a graphic designer after that. Still can. Ataupun you nak cakap macam, macam uh, I just nak ambil, uh, you know, Adobe kadang-kadang ada cert and everything. I just want to ambil that, that cert. Uh, I don't want to enroll masuk study. Still can, tak ada masalah. Because it's actually broad and wide. And and basically graphic designer ni diperlukan sekarang memang 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 diperlukan and, and plus now we are totally hundred percent work from home and COVID and everything so people ex people they are more exposed to social media to gadgets so this kind of social media and gadgets they ram perlukan lagi lagi menarik gambar tu lagi macam more memorable gambar tu lagi senang untuk dapat tarikan so now is it's basically a race lah between who are more creative, who are more, more you know, like macam siapa yang boleh bawa, bawa lagi cantik, bawa, bawa lagi kreatif, bawa lagi. Dia tak semestinya kena cantik. Dia, as long as you are creative enough, benda tu boleh tarik orang. That's why you tengok sometimes ada yang iklan pelik-pelik. Tapi people remember. 
the scan of thing is actually kreatif tapi kreatif another another way lah ada ada kreatif cantik ada kreatif yang macam nak bagi orang remember ada kreatif yang macam in the bad way so uh, graphic designer punya job is very broad very wide it can be you can be animator you bukan lagi pandai sketch ai tak pandai sketch tapi kalau kata you pandai sketch you can be an animator like you paint you do drawing and everything you know orang lukis kartun buat komik it's actually a part of the graphic designer job juga sebab you still kena compile all the books and everything so you are a designer you are a creative So let's say you kata um okay I tak minat lah nak buat lukis-lukis gambar ni tapi I minat nak buat buku. So you buat buku. Boleh juga you compile and everything kan cari bar item apa semua you are creative. So basically you are susun all the books and everything. It's a part of graphic designer job juga. Contoh so, kata oh I nak buat uh, I nak di, I nak kerja I nak buka kedai printer. So you can buka kedai printer you still sometimes you need to terima orang punya job untuk buat graphic design. So you know Graphic design is so is very wide, it's very broad. You tak perlu stuck into one thing. If you want to be graphic designer, I just be graphic designer. No, it can be anything. Once you in a graphic designer field, I mean everyone can be can be a graphic designer. It's just a matter of I are you creative enough? Are you are you if you're not creative enough pun are you you know yang macam are you are you tough enough to stay in that particular field? Ah, that's it. I think uh, that's all for me. Yeah, that's all for my slides. Um, boleh kita bergerak ke Q&A session ke ni? Boleh, boleh. Okay, so kat sini ada beberapa soalan. Mm -hmm. uh, soalan pertama dia tanya, what is the most crucial skill ataupun set of knowledge that you, you bring through from your architecture study to your current career as a creative or graphic designer? Oh, the crucial skill eh. Crucial skill is basically, okay, during my architecture time, um, masa study, I I need to do lots of compiling. I mean, kita orang present is basically present paper. And then that paper is basically, um, selalunya orang pakai A4, A3, but we are using AO. AO ataupun tiga keping A1. Tiga keping A1 means that um, around three meters, times 1 meter, around that size lah, but ada 9 keping, okay, 9 to, at least 7 to 10 lah, range to 7 to 10, kita panggil, uh, kita panggil board by the time, 7 to 10 boards, so, um, apa yang I study by that time is basically macam, macam you have to arrange it very well because of you akan gantung benda tu, so from the top to bottom, so you kena arrange yang, you kena make sure yang Lecturer you boleh nampak whatever yang kat atas And lecturer you boleh nampak whatever yang kat bawah So the arrangement is very crucial So um, bila, bila I've been doing that since I was in semester 1 Until I was, until semester 8 So that kind of thing that helped me Basically uh, bila I tengok bila I, kalau, To be honest I'm a technical person So when I do a graph uh, When I do a poster or a graphic Mostly I will look at the technical part sama ada kiri kanan dia balance tak atau bawah dia balance ke tak ataupun uh, color ni pop up tak dengan color ni I, kalau kalau guna ayat ni macam ni nampak macam mana tak faham tak maksudnya macam ada certain words you can use in graphic in poster sebab it will look that poster macam 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 not as good as whatever yang you want to portray you know those kind of skill set yang macam you need to make sure that people um Tengok benda tu and then dia 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 selesa pandangan mata, dia tak sakit mata. So that was, that was apa yang I belajar lah by that time masa study kat architecture dalam masa yang sama we have a photography class and everything masa kat architecture. So they always teach us lah one third, you know, one third is basically you you, you kena letak gambar tu dalam keadaan yang make sure jangan malu-malu, those kind of things lah. Uh, kalau nak masuk dia sama ada satu, satu setengah ataupun satu tiga benda kamera you know benda-benda tu small small things tapi it very it's helpful lah dalam 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 uh, graphic designer hmm. okay, terima kasih uh, ada soalan lagi dia uh, ni daripada Ida Rufara uh, apakah perbezaan ketara between architecture and graphic designer uh, sebab dia pernah belajar dalam Uh, art education uh -huh. dan dia nak tahu uh, dan dia nak tahu perbezaan tentang perbezaan ketara between architecture and graphic design. 
Perbezaan yang paling ketara adalah If you study architecture, you boleh jadi graphic designer Tapi if you study graphic designer, you tak boleh jadi architect Sebab architect, um, so we can call it as a professional course Daripada since since way before we were born I mean like daripada 1960s, 50s So dia adalah satu satu um, career di mana Uh, in order to become that Dia kena ada sertif- Kena ada sertifikat Kena ada menyatakan bahawa Macam oh you study architecture Sebab this is macam Become an architect Somehow You can say like Macam macam you nak jadi doktor You tak boleh simply jadi doktor You kena certified Sebab you nak bina bangunan So bila you nak bina bangunan It actually comes with uh, A big responsibility A big Bukan lah bangunannya Maksudnya you nak buat jalan ke bangunan You nak buat something That people will use in daily life Which is One one day maybe Kalau the collapse It will basically korbankan like Thousands of nyawa So it's not like simply You can become a architect Or you can architect lah today You cannot Because of it's it, Whatever professional cost It's come with a great responsibility So a great responsibility ni Yang yang menyebabkan why you have to Have the set, the set Nyatakan bahawa betul-betul you are Memang study architect To become an architect Um, that is the most uh, Kata paling-paling obvious lah uh, The rest is actually lebih kurang In terms of macam Cuma beza dia uh, Graphic designer is buat graphic Ada je graphic designer ni Yang working as a We didn't call as an assistant architect Graphic designer grad Tapi diorang bekerja sebagai uh, Dalam architecture firm Tapi we call them as a draftman So draftman ni they will help In terms of 3D visualizer pun boleh buat Mostly diorang ke buat 3D visualizer Sebab diorang buat graphic designer kan tapi we didn't call them as assistant kita. We call them as a draftman uh, ataupun 3D man, those kind of things lah, those kind of words. Okay, uh, ni ada satu lagi daripada Shafi. Uh, which art course do you think is the most flexible course that someone should take? Uh, sebab dia kata kalau ambil graphic design boleh kerja di animation. Uh, saya rasa saya boleh jawab macam tadi. Miss kata boleh kan? Boleh. Um, you you study dalam graphic designer. Actually, the tak, tak, I I'm not really sure about the orang punya specific uh, syllabus tau. I'm not really sure about that because ah, uh, macam cakap lah, I tak enroll masuk graphic designer punya course. But I do believe yang macam even dalam architecture, boleh kau imagine I study arsitek, tiba ada kelas fotografi. Okay. Dalam dalam arsitek, tapi ada kelas fotografi. Kenapa dalam arsitek ada kelas fotografi? Kita rasa pelik ke kenapa kita ada kelas? Tapi it's actually a part of it. Di mana memang kita orang kena score lah Kelas tu kena bawa, kena beli kamera lah Bagai apa semua by that time kan Tapi macam But I do believe when you study in certain course Yang mana benda tu akan related dengan Macam kalau ada certain yang related to each other Dia orang akan belajar every single things of it Sikit-sikit-sikit sikit tau Tapi major dia akan lebih kepada apa yang you ambil major lah Kalau you major on uh, animation Dia akan besarkan kat animation tu And the rest dia akan ambil sikit-sikit-sikit keliling dia So macam architecture, so kita architecture buat design Tapi dalam masa sama kita nak ada kelas juga Untuk untuk study um, macam mana nak kira macam, Apa yang civil engineer belajar Tapi diorang belajar fokus lah Kita orang tak belajar sefokus tu Tapi kita orang belajar macam mana nak kira Beratan, uh, muatan berat Yang tu kita nak guna berapa besar Kita orang belajar kira benda-benda tu semua Walaupun kita orang architect tu design je kan Tapi uh, kita orang belajar semua sikit-sikit-sikit So I I do believe that when you take a graphic designer kalau if let's say you want to become a graphic designer then then and then you ambil sikit dia akan ajar animation sikit dia akan ajar software sikit dia akan ajar buat video sikit and everything sikit 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 So by that time you didn't have you tak adalah bila you keluar you have zero knowledge in that particular area you baca at least you oh I I pernah buat benda dia dulu tapi I'm not pro in that but I can learn you know those kind of words lah normally we, people we use during the interview session Oh maksudnya bila kita Uh, belajar pasal grafik design ni Kita ada kemungkinan untuk explore lagi banyak art course Betul. lah Betul so, Ada okay. je orang buat grafik design ni End up dia jadi komik orang-orang Ada je macam orang buat grafik design End up dia jadi animator Macam macam grafik design ni dia banyak Tadi kita tengok course dia, dia macam uh-huh. Dia macam-macam kan Dia macam tak adalah straight grafik design Ada juga straight grafik design Ada yang macam Nak ambil animation ke nak. Contoh lah macam animation dengan Cinematografi, cinematografi dan animation lain Tapi dia benda yang sama, you working with, uh, working with like, Macam with frame to frame editing and everything uh, So cinematografi mungkin 
uh, mungkin dia ambil lebih pada macam real photo mungkin animation lebih kepada macam uh, cartoon photo but basically it's coming from the same source it's coming from the head basically macam uh, dia dia macam nak cakap eh, so called It's actually the same thing but different application. Uh. Dia, okay. dia akan belajar juga. Dia somehow you akan, you tak tahu pun you boleh tahu sebab you be in that particular course. Hmm. Uh, okay, sebenarnya daripada Aina Adila, katanya tak ada soalan. Just wanna say hi to Shikin from her best mate to Bismillah. Siapa? Aina Adila. Aina, hi Aina. <laughs> Hai Shikin <laughs> Ada, ada pula kat sini Yes, <laughs> ada, sentiasa untuk support <laughs> Thank you, thank you Okay Okay, uh, lepas tu ada juga soalan uh, hmm. Ni daripada Facebook live kat sini Macam mana nak tahu kita ni sesuai untuk enroll kejaya sebagai graphic designer? Macam mana nak tahu rasa sesuai ke tak? Ah, hmm. yang itu kena masuk mode interview tu <laughs> Kena tahu, tak adalah dia lebih kepada macam um, Graphic designer ni, dia Kena nak cakap eh Selalunya orang akan nampak dari segi macam macam Okay last year, ada budak nak jadi graphic designer dalam group mode interview I Dekat dekat, UIT, dekat MRSM, Pak Taiping So end up sekali dah ambil science computer dan tajaan So dia sudah memang nak ambil graphic designer dan Nak ambil, satu nak ambil diploma graphic designer, dia kata Kesan kat dia um, Maksudnya dia dah ada So what, I tanya dia kenapa dia dah senang ambil grafik dia ni So dia kata oh dia suka buat poster and everything Those kind of thing you know So daripada situ boleh nampak Kalau you a kind of person that macam love grafik Itself maybe you suka buku You suka pergi kedai Untuk tengok cover buku je Ada orang macam tu Macam I tiba-tiba dia kedai pergi juga I pergi macam APH ke apa kan Nak tengok cover buku Sebab kita nak tengok macam mana orang design buku, nak bezakan antara buku fiction, nak bezakan antara buku yang non-fiction, buku kelas, buku belajar and everything. Macam mana diorang, diorang design? Apa yang membezakan this kind of design? Ada orang pergi macam tu. Macam Ella contoh. Macam ada beza cerita hantu, cerita tak, bukan cerita hantu. So, kalau you a kind of person that love that kind of benda-benda macam tu, mungkin you rasa macam setengah orang dia, dia don't care. Dia don't care. Like macam 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 I, kalau you tanya I pasal uh, certain-certain thing, I macam, oh I don't care. You don't care maksudnya, you memang tak minat lah. Tapi kalau you macam, you pergi, you tengok kan. Uh, you macam tu dah pergi setabak. You tengok, oh kali hijau ni, the match macam ni. The design kat dalam macam ni, macam ni, macam ni. Oh I suka lah arrangement kerusi dia. I suka lah match colour setabak dia ambil warna coklat dengan warna hijau. Rasa rasa bila masuk setabak, bila, bila lalu dia datang tu setabak. Uh, macam mana, you, you love that kind of feeling. That kind of macam, you rasa macam... Macam seronok lah benda macam tu And then you are suit, suit to become a graphic designer lah that, that, But it doesn't mean that you have to become a graphic designer You may, might be you love to become an interior designer uh, You might also can be a person that love, love to, be, to become an architect I don't know But benda-benda macam ni macam It's actually uh, kena tengok balik diri you Apa yang you suka Apa benda yang bila you keluar Benda yang you macam suka Macam dulu I, Antara reason kenapa I nak jadi architect It's because of um, whenever I balik kampung, I naik kereta So, I daripada Perak, I balik Melaka So, I akan lalu Syak Alam So, kita akan naik uh, plus, akan lalu Syak Alam So, I akan naik, parents I akan naik start tol daripada um, daripada Meru So, kita akan lalu Syak Alam So, masa lalu Syak Alam tu, I akan sentiasa oh, bangunkan diri I I akan tanya dia sampai mana Sebab I nak tengok stadium Syak Alam daripada atas Sebab you know, lalu MSU and everything So, ada Syak, ada stadium Syak Alam So, I akan macam Tengok, oh, stadion, oh, itu, 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 stadion Syak Alam So, yelah, I duduk perak kan So, berapa kali je lah setahun dia boleh tengok stadion Syak Alam tu daripada atas So, excited lah kan Tapi that is actually one of the reason kenapa I rasa I can become an architect by that time uh, But, you know, by time nanti you akan start to realize more and more and more oh, itu Itulah yang jadi bagusnya bila you keep on asking people Tanya, oh Uh, apa, what should I do, what should I need I mean, I mean what, what are you doing What kind of architect is basically career What kind of graphic designer punya career What kind of doctor punya career So benda-benda macam tu lah So bila you tanya, you, you boleh try to implement to yourself Either actually uh, what kind of profession that you like Yeah uh, Okay, ada juga soalan daripada Irene Fiona uh, Dia kata thanks for sharing In your opinion, what make A person a good graphic designer Maksudnya macam tadilah jawapan dia kan Kena ada minat 
Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, they, they, uh, uh, like a good graphic designer is basically you need to have a good eye lah. You tak boleh shot sendiri. Ah, uh, uh -huh. they shot sendiri ni dia ada shot sendiri yang in a good way, ada shot sendiri in a bad way. Shot sendiri in a good way which is uh, good eye, people tengok suka. Dia bukan shot sendiri yang macam bila you buat poster tu orang kata, "Eh, poster kau ni tak cantik ah color combination and and everything." Eh. And then you macam like Oh cantik ah bagi aku. You, you cannot because of as a, a part of a graphic designer thing because of benda design is abstract. Design is very abstract. That's why ada orang suka hitam, ada orang suka warna kelabu, ada orang suka warna hijau, ada suka warna kuning, suka warna pink. Dia abstract. Dia macam dia tak ada dia tak ada preference yang macam macam matematik satu tambah satu dua. Dia tak ada technical yang memang fix macam tu. Dia adalah sangat sangat uh, abstract. So this is when um, lots of opinion, lots of like macam uh, tengok Macam saya cakap sebab tu lah, saya pergi kedai buku tengok cover page Cover buku sebab kita nak tengok apa yang orang kerap buat Dan mana yang saya rasa suits dengan diri saya Those kind of thing So to become a graphic designer, I think you need to become more more open Terima kritikan and then also have a good eye, those kind of thing Always bertanya sebab dia tak ada limit because of you because you when you, once you become a graphic designer you ada chance yang you akan dapat macam-macam klien. Klien A B C D tak sama dengan klien D E E F. Tak sama dengan G H I J. Tak sama. Semua orang ada dia orang punya different preference of what kind of branding, what kind of uh, design that they want to bring to their products or to their page or to their self something macam tu. Ah, ni ada ada pasal gaji. Gaji graphic designer sekarang ni berapa? Ha, gaji tu tak boleh nak disclose sebab dia ikut you kena you kerja kapi dia besar, gaji you besar, uh -huh. you kerja kapi dia kecil, gaji you kecil. Sebab macam saya cakap lah, bezanya um, graphic designer dengan certain professional course, certain professional course dia dah ada limit gaji tau. Dia dah macam okay, if you are degree, you gaji sampai sini. If you uh, master, you punya gaji sampai sini. Ataupun dengan cara lain, you kena climb up guna experience lah which is certain cost, certain career susah juga. Tapi graphic designer ni dia dia tak ada, dia tak ada orang kata limit to the top tau sebab the more experience you are, lagi mahal lah gaji you. Bukan lagi mahal, doesn't have to be gaji you tau. Actually most of the graphic designer nowadays, dia orang tak, dia, dia orang freelancer. Kenapa dia orang boleh buat freelancer? Dia orang tak kerja makan gaji, dia orang freelance, memang totally freelance. Freelance buat animation, freelance hmm. buat. You know, you know one animation can cost about 5 to 10k. Ah, uh, tapi dia worth dengan kerja tu lah dan experience dia. Sebab kerja tu sangat tricky. So kalau dia ada experience, dia tahu macam mana nak percepatkan kerja tu. So you are paying them based, based on um dia orang punya experience. So the 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 more experience you are lagi mahal lah you. Ah, dia macam tu. Level dia. Ah, ni un, oh, okay. soalan dia, apakah subjek SPM? Waktu SPM yang penting untuk jadi graphic designer. Uh, dan sekarang ada lagi tak scholarship untuk ambil course graphic designer? Uh, subjek penting eh. Subjek penting sebenarnya hmm. dia tak ada subjek penting pun. Dia as, bukanlah tak ada subjek penting. Dia macam Uh, kalau you study science stream memang memang tak ada lah bukan tak ada dia bukan tak penting tau dia, dia still lagi you perlu score for your you punya requirement to enroll tapi as long tapi i think that uh, become a graphic designer ni dia tak dia tak se, se crucial macam you kena wajib pada lukis ha, dia tak ada benda-benda yang wajib macam tu so as long as you kind of person that fast learner willing to learn you are and 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 bila you belajar tu you you belajarlah Because I do believe that everyone has the capability untuk belajar. Sebab tu macam I dah umur 29 pun still lagi study law and it's degree tau. Bukan dia macam master ke PhD, degree, ambil degree law. Orang pun macam pelik nak ambil degree law. But I think uh, as for me, I think the capability untuk belajar sentiasa ada. So as long as you are willing to learn, um, uh, I think okay je. And then dia tak perlukan macam dia kena oh I kena strive untuk dapat mat A sebab sebab uh, dalam graphic design tak ada lah kata you kena kira-kira tapi you have to know that when you pandai matematik and everything yang you boleh buat you ada critical thinking so bila you ada critical thinking critical thinking tu that will help you untuk solvekan problem-problem you boleh buat graphic design solve problem-problem tu adalah apa bukan jawab-jawab mat bukan 
solve problem tu is basically uh, macam mana you nak counter dengan client balik design you dengan apa yang design client nak and meet the middle that is that kind of critical thinking hmm. ada satu question tadi tanya apa? Uh, dia tanya I lagi ke scholarship uh, untuk uh, scholarship hmm. tak pasti tu kena selalu check dengan uh. dengan 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 sama ada Scholarship banyak. Kadang-kadang you boleh pergi under negeri, you boleh pergi under uh, MARA, JPA. So, itu, itu, itu yang biasa lah. Tapi dia sebenarnya scholarship is everywhere. Uh, you can cari lah. Ada je setengah company yang memang tak ada untuk scholarship. Tu kena rajin cari. Okay. Ah, oh okay. Ada orang tanya, kan sekarang belajar legal, uh, Miss belajar legal uh, untuk yang ni kan sekarang ni. Nanti dah grad akan tukar kerja in law pun pula ke? Ha, yang itu tak sure lagi sebab <laughs> saya cakap lah macam actually I, I jenis uh, a person that agak fluid tau I macam I suka go with the flow, I tak suka restrictkan hidup I macam Oh I have to become this, I have to become this by this time I tak suka, macam tu. bukan tak suka lah sebenarnya macam Macam uh, Dia macam you ada short term dengan long term So hmm. I ada short term, I ada long term tapi along the way, I tak restrictkan my way is only to go for the long term punya goal. So I always like macam if there is another good chance for me to go divert and that diversion tu is actually macam buat I lagi jadi better then I just go for the diversion. So as for now, my plan was, uh, my plan is as for now is to grad from a uh, law, law and then to join developer company using my cert as an assistant architect. I can do architecture and then I also do legal so I would like to join a developer company lah some corporate big company saya tak tahu dapat masuk ke tak tapi I will try my best and also graphic designer ni aku jadi macam I punya part time job hmm. so I mean when you have so many things I mean I bukan nak suruh you ambil sebanyak benda when when you know you 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 macam ada, you ada macam a few of ideas of what you want to do so you ada you still have the plan if plan A tak jadi you have a plan B Plan B tadi, you have a plan C. So, that is me lah. That is a kind of me. A kind of person yang I I live with myself lah. Okay, how? Hmm. Oh, okay. Ada orang tanyakan uh, pengalaman. Cabaran paling tidak boleh dilupakan sepanjang kerja sebagai graphic designer. Oh, dia bukan cabar. Dia bukan tak boleh dilupakan tau. Dia macam benda tu akan keep on repeating the same thing. It's actually the, your idea be rejected by client so many times. And then that idea is actually coming from them. Oh. Faham tak? Macam dia bagi idea, oh I nak ni, I nak ni, I nak ni. Eh. Okay. And then kita cakap, okay macam ni ke? Ha, betul macam ni, macam ni. Color ni, macam ni. You nak macam ni. And then kita cakap macam, but I think that this is not very good lah. Cakap macam tu kan. Kita tak cakap lah very good. I think, I think So I propose another color macam tu. Saya kata, oh tak ada suka sikit. I, 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 already, I already made my mind. I want this color. I want this design. And then kita buat. So because we told them that basically macam you know sometimes you do job you ada dua tiga kali tukar and everything kan. Mm-hmm. And then uh, bagi kat klien ni kan. I, I don't like lah the color. And then macam uh, tapi you yang bagi color. Tapi kita tak cakap lah dekat dia. Tak boleh lah cakap dekat dia because they are our clients right. But Benda tu like very, I mean, simple, benda-benda yang you have to bear lah. So, part of graphic design tu because of you are handling with client. Nak puaskan hati client. Yeah. So, macam itulah isu-isu dia when you become a graphic designer. Oh. Ah, uh, And the last question is, to you which is more appealing? The strategy phase of a design of a project or the concept phase? Okay. Hmm, the entire strategy phase of a design dengan concept phase of a design mana yang more appealing? Hmm, mana lagi menarik ya? Strategi dengan konsep. Um, I'm more to a concept person. Ah, oh. uh, okay. So concept person, maybe lah. I'm not sure this. I'm not sure about other pers- other other people. Tapi as for me, sebab I dah di groom kan as an architect. I study architecture, so anything we start with concept. What kind of concept that we want to do? Let's say I cakap macam, I nak buat bangunan yang berkonsep kind of green environment. So, you have to apply everything. You have to apply macam you kena ada natural window ventilation, you kena ada um, natural 
Like said everything. Bagi I, when when you have a concept, the concept will will basically determine your strategy. Uh, so so bila you ada concept apa yang you nak buat so you akan bukanlah automatic you have to figure out what kind of strategy to to meet that concept yeah okay. so me yeah, which is concept kalau macam course pengajian tu uh, graphic design ni ikut university lah sebenarnya Yes, ikut universiti. Um, oh. Selalunya IPTA murah lah. IPTS oh. mahal, mahal sikit. MMU di IPTS sebenarnya. Uh, so IPTA macam UITM. Macam tu it's actually. UITM is very cheap lah. If you, wanna, if, if you think about like macam tu. To start to. Tak nak punya PTPTN ke and everything. Hmm. And then I think it's better for you to enroll for UITM lah. Tapi kalau kat you, you, you have more money to to spend. You can go for IPTS. Of course, the in terms of I think maybe there is certain thing yang IPTS much more better than IPTA. IPTA. So that's a things that you have to terima lah. Um, bila payment berbeza, mungkin facility berbeza, mungkin uh, saya pun tak pasti. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, last ni, last. Yeah. Okay, last. Kalau orang yang buat website tu dia kira sebagai graphic designer juga ke? Uh, dia tengok you buat website yang mana. Kalau you buat coding kat belakang tu you programmer. Tapi uh. kalau you design yang interface dia kat depan tu, uh, you this graphic designer lah. Interface ni selalunya dia orang akan design guna um, kita ada Adobe XD. XD sebenarnya. Asal XD kot. Hmm. Sini XD kot. Tak ingat lah. Tapi dia akan UI UX. So dia macam basically uh, is a actually interface yang mana you boleh design you punya website. You nak letak kotak you kat mana, you nak start apa semua kan. Tapi it's actually coming from macam macam you buat illustrator, graphic design lah. And then this thing yang you passkan kepada programmer. So they need to buatkan benda ni jadi betul lah. Jadi jadi website yang you nak. So ada certain things yang actually quite impossible. It's not like impossible. Maybe certain programmer tak boleh nak buat. Mungkin certain yang boleh buat tu mungkin lagi more expensive pay ke. Tak, tak pasti kan. So, um, dia orang akan cakap lah. Okay, this box tak boleh buat besar ni. So, the 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 template one is besar ni. So, dia orang akan adjust. So, you adjust balik lah. Untuk, untuk fixkan balik design and everything. So, that. So, dia ada back and forth. So, sebab tu tak semua. Dia, kalau you tengok dekat website, ada free template web design. And to free. Tapi mm -hmm. ada je yang macam uh, a bit high high company. It's not company, sebenarnya so high brand. Branding yang macam very mahal-mahal ke apa semua kan. Uh, normally, diorang akan bayar graphic designer untuk diorang buat custom web design. Okay. Uh, uh, asalnya tu je soalan kita malam ni. Terima kasih kepada Miss Ashikin kerana sudi berkongsi masa dan juga banyak info-info pasal um, tentang graphic designer ni. Uh, okay. Um, Seterusnya saya nak ucapkan terima kasih juga dekat rakan-rakan strategi Ansara Taiping uh, iaitu unit perkhidmatan bimbingan konseling Amasa Taiping, NF Energy Sedia Berhad, Alpha System Malaysia and BG Capital Holding. Uh, saya juga nak ingatkan kepada para penonton, uh, besok kita ada program lagi uh, iaitu Taiping Secangkir Kopi dengan tajuknya Startup. Okay, jangan lupa pukul 9 malam juga, um, waktu yang sama pukul 9 juga. Uh. Uh, dan sekiranya ada penonton yang nak tengok balik sesi kita pada malam ni anda boleh buat demikian di Facebook Ansara Typing ataupun di YouTube channel kita Ansara Typing uh, Jadi itu saja uh, kita tutup majlis kita dengan Tasbih Kipa dan Suatu As Sekian terima kasih, selamat malam semua Terima kasih kerana datang